Hey folks, how are we doing? So what I want to show you is how I edge the blades, you know, with the acid, not etching, but actually just acid bath. It's kind of like a forced patina on steroids. Uh, it does pretty much the same thing. It forces rust real quick, like super uh, sped up patina that prevents rusting. It's not the it's not the permanent coating. It's not super super wear resistant, but it actually does wear off fairly decent and uh, uh, gives you fair amount of uh, rust protection. Just an example. This is this is the same thing, and already after through some use, chopping to two by fours, and you see. Not that much wear off, just slight, slight, you know, wear off on that, on that portion here where I was shopping. So it kind of, you know, provides fairly decent coating. Gives a little bit of that cool factor for people that like, you know, darker finishes and stuff like that. What do you use for it is the PCB acid. I'll show you later. First, let's clean the blade. So I remove the handles from it, and uh, for cleaning up, I want to remove all the oil residue, fingerprints residue, uh, coat, uh, like the oils that I put on the blade to help help protect from uh, from rust and what I use for it is just regular alcohol this is isopropyl alcohol 91% so I'll just spill on it a little bit on the paper towel and just make sure to wipe everything so the alcohol will remove all the all the oils from the metal yeah, it's also nice to double check your hand if you don't have some cuts on them because it does burn <laughs> it burns a lot clean the handle also you don't really have to care about the the sides because that's covered by the scales but the bottoms the bottom of the handle and the top you want to make sure that you don't have fingerprints or something because if you do have fingerprints that oil the residue from the oil from your fingerprints or uh, any other oils on the on the metal will actually prevent even even let's call it eating away of the metal uh, if you don't know the PCB you just google it it's a it's a circuit board etcher uh, you can get it in in uh, Radio Shack for ten dollars a bottle I still use only the first bottle that I bought long time ago and I just diluted it with the water you can mix it up with water and it still have plenty of power to you know darken up and coat this uh, tool steels that rust really easy even you know the big tube what you're gonna see soon once you cleaned it you wanna wipe it down with the dry towel make sure that there are no swipes even with that from the from the alcohol itself it looks pretty good so gonna put that here what I do for these larger blades I have a piece of gutted paracord, just the inner strand, one, I'll just loop it through one of these holes in the tank, just like so, so that's my, that's my, uh, let's call it handle for now, and uh, what I did, like the second somebody mentioned in the video where I was talking about looking for some kind of container, for the acid for these larger blades, PVC piping. Right away, when people mentioned it, it was like, yeah, light bulb came off. Super, super cheap, couple couple dollars. This is a three-inch wide, two feet long tube, and I just bought this fitting the end pieces. You know, the cups. One is epoxy. I didn't buy the original PVC glue. I just epoxied it on the bottom, and the top piece is just you know fitted on it. This is how it looks. You know that cup. Uh, ideally. I would want to have a hole here to help with the opening and closing because of the pressure and under pressure but at the same time I don't have any kind of stand so this just kind of sits in the corner and I don't want to have a hole there just in case it flips over so it doesn't spill and what I'm gonna do just grab that cord here and just submerge the whole blade into the acid submerge it there you know and leave it be for depending on how strong your concentrate is in my case this whole big tube you see two feet long three inch wide tube only has one bottle one bottle of that PCB acid it's actually I think fl uh, ferric chloride acid if you look if you google it it will tell you exactly you can even mix this yourself with the uh, 
chloride acid and I think perox uh, uh, peroxide uh, hydroxide peroxide or something like that you can even mix that uh, kind of same solution yourself and just mix it up with water so I'm gonna leave this here for probably about 15-20 minutes and oh, actually I can show you it, it does react fairly quick even with this low concentration if I pull the blade out you can already see how much darker it got in just a couple seconds but I'm gonna leave it there for about 15-20 minutes and uh, after 15-20 minutes I'll just remove this you know take it out go to the bathroom clean it real well with the soap and the brush some uh, softer brush so make sure you don't you know scratch up the surface right there so some softer you know plastic brush clean it real well with the soap to make sure that you get rid of all the acid from the surface you might want to wear gloves I always just grab, wrap it in the paper towel bring it to the bathroom like that so I don't you know mess up my hands it's not a very uh, does it's not gonna eat away your flesh or something like that but it's something it's a chemical you know so you wanna stay away from it if, if you can uh, it's not like it's gonna burn or something but it's still better to better to protect your hands and your skin and some people might have bad reactions with the with the chemicals so I'll wash it up real well and then oil it real well and uh, I'll just show you the final result how it looks and uh, I'll talk to you how you can actually if you wanna do that kinda like a stone wash you can do the same thing. I'll talk to, talk about it when we come back. All right, so here it is. After I took it out, uh, wash it up with the soap real well. Everything in the hose, everywhere, and uh, gonna oil it a little bit. Now the thing is with the, uh, what I talked about that this will have to get get touch up on the on the belt anyway to resharpen it because that super fine edge that I had there before it gets eaten away with that acid so it's still you know something what some people would call sharp is actually might be actually good uh, good wood sharpening uh, edge because it's very toothy but it's not something what I like on uh, on my knives you see it actually slices slices uh, there's like a magazine paper fairly well but it's definitely not what I would call a sharp sharp edge so that's gonna get touched up just a very that slight micro bevel uh, on the like 600 belt and uh, pull will strap it a little bit but that's pretty much it just put the put the handles back on and uh, that's it one thing what you can do you can actually do kinda like a simple tumbler from the same PVC piping that I have my acid in you can just grab one of the even bigger ones get a uh, get a little bit of that stone washing media throw it in there put the blade there just shake it with your hand because stone washing the acid bath is actually much much quicker than the regular stone wash because you scratching this surface is very easy so it's literally a couple seconds couple minutes of tumbling shaking by hand and uh, it will get the job done really well just like the I've showed it a couple of times you can see it also on Jeff stuff times X channel how it looks that's in case you want to do that you know kind of like a fallout treatment or acid stone wash it's called also uh, very simple very easy I'm not crazy about it I want to just keep it nice and uniform because it uh, the coating is there not for looks it's there actually just for a purpose and that's prevent rusting and if I would scratch it it actually just exposes the steel again which would uh, help rusting so that's the only only reason why I actually keep them with that whole uh, acid acid bath finish it's actually pretty cool I don't know if we can pick it up on the camera here but at certain angles actually that uh, that acid wash uh, glands is blue so it has kind of like a nice very very funky color it's not blue blue but you get little hints uh, the certain angles of the light you get cer certain hints of bluish color it's almost like a bluing gun bluing uh, I actually think that maybe it's something very similar and you know if you break it down to the what's happening it's probably something similar to what gun bluing actually is so hope you enjoyed it guys very simple very easy just look for PCB mix it with water get some plastic container it can be glass or plastic cannot be metal anything metal will get eaten away by that acid so that's the only thing to consider it has to be plastic PVC or a glass container so hope you enjoyed guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself